G'day, welcome to episode 325 of Trent 365. Today's Monday, the 22nd of October. Back home in KL, back in the storeroom, just unpacking the bags. Home for a week, at least, until I head back on the road again. And I've been going over the Global Wellness Economy Monitor Report that was re released a couple of weeks ago at the Global Wellness Summit. And you would have heard me talk before about the, um, not the danger, but the thing that you need to look for in a lot of these macroeconomic type reports is that you need to understand the assumptions made, you need to understand the research methodologies used to make sure that the, the big number that you're getting, that you really understand where that's come from. And the interesting part to me was that one of the key stats that really stood out was that the spa industry has grown by about 10% since the last report a couple of years ago, which to me was inconsistent with a lot of what I've seen as I've traveled around the world over the last couple of years with hotels and spas. But when I read into the detail of that number, that nearly 10% growth, it's not necessarily a growth in new builds and new spas opening, it's a growth in the number of spas or hotels and resorts that are listing themselves as having spa facilities. So the growth in revenue is based on basically, we're now counting more spas than we did before, but they're not necessarily all brand new spas that weren't already there, because those spas were probably there two, three, four years ago when they did the last research. So that potentially maybe lines up with my, my theory and what I'm seeing, is that there's maybe not a growth at the moment in the hotel spa business, and it's probably a little bit the opposite, to be honest. So again, the, the note, I guess, for that is with all of these reports, make sure you read into the details of how they've come up with the assumptions and, and the footnotes, if they're there, make sure you understand what those are. Now, another exciting bit of news is that I've spoken with Catherine Johnson, who is one of the researchers on the report, and she's agreed to sit down with me, have a bit of an interview for the Inside the Spa Business Show. So we're gonna try and organize that maybe later this week. So we'll try and get that up on the show in the next week or two anyway, to talk about the outcomes and the findings and the futures and the trends that are coming out of that report. So that will be a really interesting interview. I'm really looking forward to having a chat with Catherine about some of the details in the report and some of the assumptions and what they're seeing, maybe the things that didn't quite make the report, but interesting stuff nonetheless. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.